Looking for the skills and training you need to get a new career? Call CTC, the Center for Training and Careers, and start working towards that new career today. Call CTC in San Jose. Good evening. I'm Siwapili Rose Amador, and this is Native Voice TV. Welcome to the show. This evening, we're going to talk about some events coming up in the community. One's a national conference, and the other is a local uh, annual American Indian Heritage Celebration. But let's start talking about Sagnus. Welcome, Dr. Yvonne Rodriguez. Welcome to the show. Thank you. It's good to be here. So now, you're what position with Sagnus? I'm the director of programs at SACNAS, and uh, we're the Society for the Advancement of Chicanos and Native Americans in Science. We're that's national, what SACNAS stands that's for. That's what SACNAS right. stands for, yes. And we're a national organization. Uh, we're really um, a society of scientists who want for their communities what we want for our own families, and mm -hmm. that is to have a free and clear path to their highest aspirations. And we are here to support that. And you're having a national conference here in San Jose. Yes, we're having a national conference. We have an annual conference. Mm -hmm. um, as I said, we are, are, are here to support our members to enriching their highest aspirations and being scientists. We are hoping that they may choose science. And we so do. every year we have a national conference. Um, it's, been, it's a traveling conference, and this year mm -hmm. it's here in San Jose, and that's why we're, one of the reasons why we're here today is to let you know that it's here at the San Jose Convention Center in October, October 27, 28th, and 29th. Ah, wow, we're looking forward to that. So, Dr. Rodriguez, I like calling you doctor. <laughs> so, what would you, how would you encourage the youth or parents of youth to, for the kids to go into science? Because a lot of them don't. And I think that's one of the reasons you're having the conference to kind of encourage more Native Chicano students to go into sciences. So, how would you start with them when they're in kindergarten? Right. Um, well, there's a t couple of ways that you can approach that. There's one, one is the science education pathway, and one is also the um, call to community pathway. I mean, we want people to know that we need them. Mm -hmm. There's a national dialogue going on right now about America and America competes and about what's happening to our earth, and, mm -hmm. and the solutions need to come from the community. We are the ones that are um, living in the communities, and we, we need to be the ones to represent our families our, and our voices um, at the table in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. and, and throughout the national science community. So one of, it, one, of the, one of the things I would say is we need you. We need you to come forward and practice science. Mm -hmm. um, the other way is that we, it's, it's, a, it's a long conversation to talk about science education, um, starting in kindergarten or just starting at home and just being able to nurture inquisitiveness. Mm -hmm. Um, and giving people room to think and ask questions and learn how to uh, construct answers that would um, for their questions. And so um, that's one area. So in some sense, I believe that we're all scientists. We're already science. We live our lives and we, we see the world around us and we wonder what kind of power is coming from the sun? Mm -hmm. You know, what is the power that we can, we can draw from, from the water? Um, all of, we're already scientists. In, now, there's another pathway, and that is being able to practice science and have an influence in what kind of science is done in this country and who's going to benefit from that science. And so we need to know that we're the ones that need to come forward and to help in that effort. And mm -hmm. part of the problem is that we don't have enough role models. That's true. And we don't have enough mentors. And so one of the, and, and so in, in not having parents, for myself, my parents didn't even finish high school. Mm -hmm. And um, I ended up in physics, although I, I originally wanted to become a, a world famous poet, and I ended up becoming a physicist. Well, you could do both, right? You can do both, <laughs> you know, it's not either or. And so, um, so that's, that's one of the keys, is that we need to, to show people that people like us can become scientists. And so that's one of the things that happens at our national conference. We have about 4,000 people who attend wow. our national conference. We have speakers who are Chicano, Latino, Native American scientists who are in, leaders in their fields who um, address the, the students who come to our conference on mm -hmm. stage and tell them not just about 
the science that they do, but the pathway, how they became a scientist. Uh -huh. And we open, the, we open our conference with a, a session where scientists are on stage doing just that, but then we, we let the students know that we're there to mentor them. Mm -hmm. We're there any time during the conference. You can be in the line for the bathroom, you know, standing next to a scientist, and if you want to ask a question, you go ahead and ask a question. I had um, done this uh, last year. I was on uh, one of the panels, mm -hmm. and people were coming to me and saying, I'm, I'm in a, an institution where people think I'm not smart. What should I do? Or I have children. How did you do it with children? And and mm -hmm. how did you, you know, attend to your family and your community? And how did you, how do you do it? It seems so hard. And so we're they're able to help them not only with that emotional support, but also at the conference we have um, scientific symposium. We have professional development sessions where we can help them learn the pathways. If you're an undergraduate, how do you get into? Uh, how do you finish? And how do you get into graduate school? Mm -hmm. And how do you go from there into getting your PhD? And now SOCNUS is really focused on getting people from, from that point on into careers in, mm -hmm. in the science, and, but in teaching, doing research, or even into uh, positions of leadership. So it's addressing science at mm -hmm. different levels mm -hmm. for young, younger people who are thinking of going into it, for those who are already in the field in education, and then those who are graduates. Yes, and so we focus on, um, I mean, we're fully aware of the, that there's a pipeline that goes all the way back to prenatal care um, mm -hmm. that, that's really important. The way that we are doing our work is to focus on uh, people who are already in the educational pipeline. So we're going from undergraduates, graduates, um, postdocs, and professionals. Mm -hmm. So um, we're doing that, and that's what, one of the things that we address at the national conference. But another um, initiative that SOCNAS has is to leave a footprint everywhere we go. So um, as I was, I was saying, we're a traveling conference. We've been in Austin, in Utah, in, all over the country, really. SOCNAS is going on its 40th year. In just a few wow. years, we're going to have our anniversary. Um, and so what we've decided is that since we need to, everywhere we go, we want to help the community. And one of the one of the things that one of the ways that we do this is is through an event that we call Community Day, mm -hmm. and which is what we really need help with this year here in San Jose. It's going to be on October 29th. Mm -hmm. um, as I said, our conference is in the San Jose Convention Center, and outside of the convention center is the South Hall. So mm -hmm. It's an 80,000 square foot uh, space. Is that that big tent? It's kind of? yeah, yeah. It looks like okay. a big tent. It looks uh -huh. like a circus tent actually. Uh -huh. um, so we want to make sure that everywhere we go, we connect the science community. The scientists in the area, the institutions, give them a chance to share their science with the community. Uh -huh. We also want to inspire people in the community um, to become scientists. So, are they going to have projects there in the uh, the big tent area? Yes, we're going to have. It's an it's a full day event. We're inviting high school students, and um, we're going to have Na NASA is going to come. Wow. Uh, we have the the Tech Museum, the American Chemical Society. Mm -hmm. Lots of people. So the way it's going, what we're going to do is we're going to have an onstage uh, program for about an hour in the morning. We have astronauts coming. Um, How we have a, a, a video from the International Space Station. They're actually going to mm -hmm. greet the greet the audience. We're going to try to just do some really um, big science demonstrations, and then people will have an opportunity to actually go and do some hands-on science. We have people who are going to come in to. Um, have set up tables to let people know because we want to inspire mm -hmm. people to become scientists, but we also want to guide them and show them how. So we have people from different institutions like Stanford, um, UC Berkeley, UC Santa Cruz, um, Santa Clara, all these different and, and more different oh, institutions so that will be there to help. Yes. Now, where is it going to be held? I think we have a flyer too, but you can tell me why we're going to be show here the flyer. in San Jose at the uh, San Jose Convention Center. Okay. And um, so that's going to be our main conference, and then we have our community mm -hmm. day event for high school students right there in the in, in back of the um, convention center in mm -hmm. the South Hall. So, what would you tell a student? You know, there's a lot of tracking going on. Always happens in the schools where they'll say, well, I think you should uh, work in the kitchen, so we're going to put you in this track. We're not going to put you in a college track. Mm -hmm. What should students be looking for? What should parents be doing to make sure their kids go in the right tracks to get into college, to go into science, to go into the field? Right. It, we, need to find, we need to find mentors. And um, I, one of the things I want to say is that we have a website, um, www.socnas.org, where you can get information. Mm -hmm. um, but for parents to just to be um, exploring, you know, um, reading, uh, watching TV, and looking at what are the different options, watching the news, what's happening in the mm -hmm. world today, 
what do they mean like solar energy? How do we get solar energy? I think the first thing is, is to ask questions and then, and then look at different options. So um, you should be able to get some information about um, how to become a scientist at, at, at your high schools uh -huh. or your, um, at college campuses. Um, parents can get involved by calling. You now, know, community day, they can bring the kids out to see the different projects, to meet some of the NASA people. And Definitely. We invite parents to join the, join the high school students to come out there. That's, that's one of our main goals, is to expose people to different opportunities, uh, specifically in the sciences. Now, have you seen an increase in Native people going into the science fields? Yes, um, there, there has been an increase, in, in, especially in looking into research careers. Mm -hmm. I was just reading an article in Nature magazine that talked about uh, some of the tribal colleges actually developing research programs now oh, good. And, um, and, and using those research programs to help their communities. Um, there was an incident uh, in Shiprock in Arizona where people were having some rep respiratory illnesses at like five times the rate as people in the outer communities mm -hmm. and they were trying to figure out why and they were able to address that problem and figure out some of the stoves that were being used were not really meant to be burning coal and so they were able to uh -huh. Use those, uh -huh. use that to help their communities. Yes. Plus, there's a lot of mining going on on a lot of different exactly. reservations and a lot of health issues. Right. So I'm glad you're having the conference here, and we're really looking forward to it. So we have about a minute left. So it's all yours. You can invite oh, our community yes, out. <laughs> please. Um, my message to people: um, uh, being a scientist and scientist, uh, science is fun and engaging, and I think everyone has the should have the opportunity to participate in that if they want to. Also, we need people to do it. We need people from our communities to be at those tables when the money is being divided and, and people are deciding what kind of science are we right. going to do in this country. So we need our voices to be represented. So I want to invite people to come out. I especially am hoping to get lots of high school students from mm -hmm. the San Jose area out to Community Day. Well, we'll certainly be out there. Thank you, Dr. Rodriguez. And you can be a doctor, too. You can be a PhD like Yvonne. We're very proud of you. Thank you for the work you're doing in our community and that the recruitment you're trying to do with us for our science thank you. field. So thank you. And we'll see you out there at the SACNAS conference in October. Stay tuned. Want to find out what's going on in your community? El Observador is San Jose's bilingual weekly newspaper. Go to your local newsstand and pick up your free copy today. You've been watching Native Voice TV. At this time, I'd like to welcome our next guests on the show, Kelly Gamboa and Derek Rainbow. They're both from the American Indian Heritage Celebration Committee, right? Yes. yes. And we're looking forward to this, the sixth annual, I believe it is, right? That is correct. And uh, firstly, thank you for allowing us to be here, Kelly and I, and oh, uh, to be welcome. part of this, uh, the, the presentation is really great. So we're here to promote it, the sixth annual American Indian Heritage Celebration. This year's theme will be the uh, sports, uh, health, spirituality, and community. And uh, we also must remember some of the uh, sports figures, Native American sports figures, are contributed into the field of sports. as Sonny Six Killer, uh, of course, uh, Jim Thorpe, and uh, uh, other numerous, you know, athletes and some other lesser-known athletes. And so we want to acknowledge that and uh, bring it to the world that uh, we we do uh, have participants in, in our society, positive oh, participation, good. participatory. That's and, That's wonderful. Uh, now, it seems to be growing larger and larger every year. I know we're going to look at some of the uh, past year's um, pictures, but um, it's a big-time powwow. It is. Every year we grow. Every year we have more people from the community. This year we have a lot more actual uh, community participants as far as agencies and, you know, other things like that. The um, the theme this year, like he mentioned, was the sports. We're trying to get kids out of the house, off the couch, off of the video games, and out into the fresh air and enjoy life. You know, we're trying to promote better health for our children, and, you know, that's why we're trying to promote our, our contribution to the sports world. Great. So besides having the uh, vendors and all the activities that go on, the dancing and so forth, you also have the football, right, mm -hmm. and a lot of uh, the native sports. Right, right. 
I know there's going to be the Indian football game, and I know they're going to have a couple other um, things going on. I think they're going to have the um, lacrosse going on, too. There's going to be a couple little exhibitions going on all over the school. So we have a lot of a lot of really fun things planned for the kids and families to participate in. Oh, let's take a look at some mm. of the pictures from previous years and give our audience an idea of uh, some of the activities that you'll have there this year. So here we go. Oh, explain what this is. This is the drum from the, uh, they had a run that came last year that this started actually, San Jose State. Uh, uh, an opening to uh, a, a drum uh, was played prior to the you're, you're ritual. Yeah, and they the started at San Jose State and they ran all the way to Evergreen. Yes. Yeah, that was really, there go. that was the beginning right there. And they had quite a few runners. It's, uh, it's long and grueling for those who have not done it. I've used to run, but uh, obviously I gave it up. And then I these walk are now. The, <laughs> <laughs> these are the vendors. There's a lot of vendors. I know a lot of times people say, where can I buy that? Well, go out there and there'll be a lot of vendors. I know, mm -hmm. Kelly, you normally have a booth out there. The mayor came out one year. I guess it pretty much comes out every year, mm -hmm. uh, Mayor Reed, and that was the uh, president of the college at the time. They came and made uh, proclamations or presentations. They're making fry bread. All right. <laughs> Yeah, we always have a nice mix of vendors selling everything from jewelry to all handmade craft work. We're pretty good about um, having all native vendors and stuff like that with some really oh, nice some pieces food. of artwork. <laughs> the food's always fabulous. You, you really have to come out and try it. Looks like she just bought hers. <laughs> and then the, the uh, face painting for the kids. Yeah. So there's always something for the kids to do the, for the oh, entire yeah. family. The kids' fun zone is always a nice thing. And it's all free. You know, yeah. we, there's no charge for anything like that. Except for, for all the things you want to buy. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> all the tempting vendors. And the vendors are really great. I mean, uh, it's like for me to go oh, to the fry the store. And there's our own Sipat scene. <laughs> Having a good time out there. Yeah, ready for the powwow, ready to dance. Okay, so then it's Saturday, September 17th, 12 to 10 p.m. So it's an all-day activity. Yeah. Well, we're looking forward to, okay, now, most people, well, not most people, a lot of people have been to powwows and kind of know what that is, but you can explain what the powwow is and what a big time is. So it's a combination. Well, as far as the big times is, it's a California tradition. It's a California gathering. It, what makes it different from the uh, powwow is at a big times, they don't have intertribal dan dancing. It's all California dancers. Um, it's not as much of a social dance as a powwow is. So, you know, that's a little different. I know at powwows they have, um, it's more of a social thing where they have intertribal where anybody can go out in the arena, whether they have regalia on or not, they can go out and dance mm -hmm. and, and that sort of thing. But at a big times, um, it's strictly California dancers in regalia and they have different sets, you know, that they do different dances that they do with their singers and stuff like that. So that's oh. a big difference. It's very interesting to watch. Mm -hmm.